guys, I know you watched our last YouTube Live when we were sitting out there in front of the hippie van out in the woods. Well, guess what? We were talking about getting a car. We were. to do a burnout. And this is a trailer. So... <laughs> Here's the deal. I'll let you guys, I'll clue you guys in a little bit. I won't keep all the secrets, but here's what we do know. There's supposed to be a car about 45 minutes to an hour from us. I've been playing ping pong on Facebook Marketplace with this guy for like five days just trying to throw money at him cash to get the hand. car cash in hand. We're supposedly going to make it happen now. We may get there. There may be a car. There may not be a car. I don't know. He may be having a wedding. I, I don't know at this point. It's it's all up in the air. Oh I actually haven't got a message from him for like an hour. So, so <laughs> anyway, um, we're going to head that direction. We want you to go down in the comments. What kind of car do you think we're supposed to be going to pick up? Let us know. What do you think Jason could actually do a burnout in? Not a Volkswagen. I Yes, we will give you a hint. It is not, not a, Vol a Volkswagen. It's not an import. It's not import. It's not an import. It has eight cylinders. It has a frame. Shh, quit telling them everything. It may not have eight cylinders. <laughs> and it's rear wheel drive. It, it has eight spark plug holes. <laughs> it doesn't mean it has eight cylinders. Anyway, we're gonna quit yakking. We gotta get on the road. We gotta get there before, I don't know, he catches it on fire or something. Anyway, um, we'll see you guys soon. We'll keep you updated as the action happens. Peace. We're done. All right, guys, so according to my GPS, we're like two minutes away from the new car, if it exists. Jason's over here. We've been driving all over GPS like turn left, turn right, turn left, turn right. I just want to let you guys know we are in the middle of nowhere. And how do you know you're in the middle of nowhere in Indiana? Let me show you. There is nothing but cornfield as far as the eye can see. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, we'll keep you updated as soon as we get the car on the trailer. All right, guys, so we got some good news. We picked up a car. Now, I did find out why the guy was uh, kind of hesitant to message me back and forth on uh, the old uh, interwebs there. He's actually kind of attached to the car. And it was kind of wishy-washy on whether he wanted to come off of it or not, but... Uh, we went there, talked to the guy. He thought we were pretty sweet dudes. We uh, we liked him too, had uh, mutual interests, and uh, chit-chatted about the car. It actually is already a burnout car. What is it, you might ask? Well, let me turn this camera around and I'll show you. It's a bitch in El Camino. Bam, there it is. Featuring full graphics. So, we got the push bar on the front, feed it all headlight covers it's got the cool 70s paint job oh this thing is sweet it's got some skulls on the old tailgate here's the old passenger side here in case you were wondering we do have a hood it's in the in the bed of my truck we didn't want it to blow off down the highway so the power barn here, we got your Edelbrock, Edelbrock. carburetor, and she's running the old 305. Now, the guy we picked the car up off of, he said uh, originally this is a V6 car, and I believe he stuffed this 305 in it, and he's been doing burnouts with it around his local area um, for a while. It does run, it does need some work. It's missing, and uh, smokes a little bit, it's just got open manifolds on it right now so we need to get some headers or something on this thing and uh, get her tuned up but hey it has a battery it started and drove on the trailer it's got some bulb tires which is fine because we're going to make them all the way bald and flat um, it's even got the side mirror for safety that's so you can make sure that you're still making tire smoke let's open up the door here give you guys a little inside scoop on this thing check out the interior it's actually complete it's not a bad car it is not a bad car. 
I mean, it's nothing to write home to mom about, but I mean, it it's all here. It's not all, you know, trashed out or moused out or nothing. I mean, I'm not scared to sit in it. The interior on a scale of, you know, one to 10, compared to Carmen, it's like a 12. I mean, yeah, we even got some cool speakerage in here. You can see down in there. We got some storage back in there. Yeah, this thing is sweet. So we're gonna get back on the highway here and uh, get an old gas tank in the back. Yeah, we're gonna get back on the highway here and get this baby back to the shop. And uh, yeah, we'll fire it up for you guys. And give you a little El Camino introduction. He's already deleted the rear breakage on it. Just pinched the lines off like, you know, you know, any professional would do. I asked him if it had posi. He said it did. It's got the old uh, Lincoln locker in it. And uh, if you don't know what that is, then you're obviously not old school enough. It's pretty painted orange for horsepower. Yep. So anyway, we're going to hop back in the uh, truck here and get headed down the highway and get this bitchin' El Camino back to the shop. Jason can officially do burnouts now. Well, we don't know. He hasn't actually done one yet, but yeah. Get over there and get your picture with your really cool car. Yeah, there you go. That's what American Muscle looks like. Now move so I can see it. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, let's hit the brakes. So we got the El Camino back. We got her off the trailer. We got her sitting on the old concrete pad here. We really didn't have much of a chance to really look at the car because um, we were concerned about just getting it on the trailer and getting home. So we're gonna do a little walk around here, kind of like some guys do on some other channels and uh, just kind of get you guys in here so you can really grasp uh, what Jason just spent his hard earned money on. So yeah, it's got these sweet, Edelbrock stickers on the door handles that clearly add 10 horsepower. I mean, that just screams cool. No rats. Eating cheese at least. Yep, no it's cheesy salt. rats. Other than that, it's got this cool 70s pinstripe on this 80s El Comanche. I think she'll buff. I think it'll clean up. I, yeah. Door opens. Door closes. Mirror well, kind of got to help it, but you know, these big doors are like Camaros. They, the door pin's probably shot. Oh, yeah, look at that. She's got the saggage. It's actually got door panels. Window rolls down. I don't know, is this thing. It really doesn't smell that bad in here. I mean, you guys saw my video earlier. Oh, here's a pad for the brakes. Sweet mid-range speaker. Empty pack of marbles. Yeah, I mean, that's, as you can see, the fuel line runs straight down through underneath the seat here. That's, that's factory. Um, yeah, the interior's actually complete really i mean it's not all trashed out it's got an add-on little temp gauge down here that probably don't work because it's all floppy and don't line up <laughs> headliner's gone typical oh so you just use the rust to run the gas line right? yeah i just run the gas line right through the rusty floor this has got the headliner delete so that when you drive somewhere and then when you get where you're going, it looks like you got freaking dandruff because all this shit's falling on your head the whole time. The bed in this thing's actually pretty solid. 
Still got the chrome on the wheel wells there. The bed does look really nice. The bed's not bad in this thing. She must have been parked on a hill, so she had a lot of drainage going on there. Yeah. Is that blue over there the original color in the bed? I have no idea. No, oh, right here in the floor. This? Over one? That? Yeah. No, that's spray paint or something. Okay. I think car originally is this black color. Yeah. I wonder, does the tailgate open? Holy moly. She opens, and she's still got one cable holding her. Must be tethered. Yeah, that actually looks really good in there. It's a nice bed. It's not a bad tailgate. So you can carry your spare tires in there for burnouts. The tailgate looks pretty good. The tailgate's not bad. I wonder if it shot. Holy crap. Man, still got the old Chevy emblem here. They put some burnout stuff on here. It'll buff. We'll knock that off. We'll knock we'll knock off whatever Jason wants to knock off and make it his. Not really sure of it. Oh, you even got a little mud flaps here to look at them speed flaps. Well you can put her in. That'll keep the rubber off the rear quarters. Still got the factory chrome on all the wheels. I can't believe all the chrome's still there. Yeah, that one piece missing on the corner of the bed's in the back of it. Yeah, and, it's and then it's only the, missing. It's missing the one. Yeah, the one across. It's only the, missing the one across there. Oh, yeah, that ain't bad. It's really not bad. It's sculled out, but hey, that can be fixed. Got a cool brush guard on there. this push bar. Yeah, Texas uh, bull bar on here. Or whatever. It's got the blackout. I think the kids call that like what do they call that? Lame. Like, blacking out. <laughs> well, no, they black out their. They oh, fog them out or whatever they call that? I don't, I don't know what they call that. I don't know, but yeah. all the kids are doing it. Look, you even got Edelbrock sticker. Them spray. Half uh, a horse, two horse? I'm, I don't know. I, those are dealership add-ons, I think. We got some skull and some coffins up here on the Some diamond plate up here. This would actually make a pretty cool shift plate. Yeah. <laughs> That's about all I'd use that for. Let's see if we can get this guy off of here. Yeah, it's toss the bonnet off of this thing. She was stuck for a second. Just set it over here and uh, one, two, three. Still got the old emblem, hood emblem here, except it's not on the hood. Was it supposed to be on the hood? Yeah, well, not on this car, but mm -hmm. they call it the hood emblem, so. I mean, it's pretty clean in here. I don't see any real rust or anything crazy. There isn't anything too stupid going on in here. I'd like to know if this is truly a 305. I assume it is, Maybe but it you know, fire we'll clock the number. Time. Something got a little warm in there. Once in the old AC box. Of Other course, none that. of that stuff matters. Yeah. I can't believe the heater core is still hooked up. Yeah, heater. Core I will bypass that because we don't need that kind of drama. Mm -hmm. That's just a problem waiting to happen. Yeah, it's in the burnout like, box. Sounds like hot water inside. The, this uh, fuel filter, horrible idea. You never put fuel filters up here, guys. Just run the them plastic. down in front of your fuel pump. Run them way down here somewhere. That way, when they break, when they break and they leak, they're dumping fuel on the damn ground. They're not dumping it right on top of all your hot stuff. You definitely don't want flameage here. Kind of Edelbrock. Carburetor. The carburetor's not bad. That's that carburetor's probably worth a couple hundred bucks. I mean, it needs tuned because the thing runs like shit. But it's gotta be a two it, barrel, right? No, that's four barrel. I know. It's probably two barrel intake with a four barrel conversion on it. Yeah. Take the old air cleaner off of this thing and look down the throat of the oh, monster. Yeah. That's a monster. These three hundred fives can drink quite a bit of fuel. Yeah. They just don't turn it into anything cool. Yep. Yeah. It's hard to tell if that's a two barrel to four barrel converter. But it looks like it is. Yeah. I don't know. We'll had, find out. I had to pull it off. To we'll find out. Find out, but we got a little bit of a power steering issue at the moment. This guy yeah. seems pretty loose and floppy. And I think that has to do with this guy not being hooked up, but you know, we can get that fixed up real quick, and we're also leaking brake fluid. So when we when I saw this on Marketplace, the guy had the straight up Zumi pipes on it, yeah. and he didn't want to part with those. 
for what we uh, wanted, wanted to, to pay, pay for, for it. And so he took them off and put these manifolds on like this afternoon and only put like three bolts in each one. So, But that's um, probably doing us a favor because we're no probably going to pull them off anyways. No big deal garbage off anyway. <laughs> so. But that I think is contributing to our power steering issue because this bracket's supposed to go through there. And yeah. yeah, there's... Then the other thing we got to fix immediately some is some shit this, to be desired. So there's some brake issues. It's leaking a it's lot of leaking brake, a lot of brake, brake fluid. fluid. Yep. So if but we solve that, that should that should lead to a burnout pretty quick. Brakes are simple. Yep. No big deal. How much gas was in this beast? Uh, like none? Yeah, maybe a half gallon. Oh yeah, enough to let it run because it don't sound like it wants to run very bad. Yeah, that stuff's pretty cloudy in there too. Should I toss a little on it? I would just leave it alone at the minute. I'd probably find a low point in the hose and cut it and just drain it. Just wash her out. and Wash it out and go with new fluid. Yeah, I think some Rec 90 will probably do this system a lot of good. Hey, this battery holds a charge enough to start the thing. That's so, that's good. Plus, the alternator that's a plus. obviously works. Yeah. So... I mean, I mean, there's there's hey. there's a few little things to fix, but man, nothing more than a day's worth of work, and the parts are all available at our yep. local O'Reilly's. So who cares? So we'll be going back to the next burnout competition with Carmen Electra, and Jason is going to have the El Camino there. Now we don't have a name for the El Camino yet, so if you guys got an idea for a name for the old El Camino here, hit us up. But I came up with one that I think is pretty cool. It'll be in the comments down below. It'll be in the comments down below. That's a good idea. We'll put it in the comments down below. So you guys, drop in the comments. What do you think a na good name for the El Camino here would be? Here, let's fire this thing. I have literally no idea. I'm going to fire this thing up so they can hear the pure American. It don't sound like that beetle, that's for sure. Don't stand in front of it, please. <laughs> oh, let's check the oil. Does it even have oil in it? Eh. There's a dirty rag there you can use. Let's check the oil. It's probably got good clean oil. Yeah, I probably put it in there yesterday. Probably to leak it all out by tomorrow. Let's see what we got. This is a solid car. This is actually a really nice car. It's not bad for what we paid for it. I mean, I ain't gonna tell the people because it ain't. No, their damn business. It ain't. It ain't right. But we didn't pay a whole lot for it. She's about a half a quart low. Not bad. Close enough. And it's clean. It's not all filthy. Um, the transmission fluid is what I'm concerned about because she hesitates a little bit. Yeah. I'm guessing that uh, she's a little low on the old go juice over here. I just hope it's red. Not too burnt. She, uh... It's pretty red. It's not. It's not bad. It's got a little brown to it. Got a little brown tint to it, but it smells. Um, yeah, it's pretty red. It smells about like your uh, toast wood in the morning. Yeah, it smells a little burntish. Oh yeah, is it low? It is low. Yeah. Um, so we can top that off. I got some. We'll fire it up. We'll top that off, and then it'll probably pull better. Yeah. Then it will won't knock around so much. There's a, there's a few little things we can fix immediately that'll make Oh yeah, we'll make better. a make us a short little list. We'll get knocking at it and uh, yeah, she'll be ready for the burnouts for sure. Then Jason can actually do burnouts, guys. I'm pretty stoked. I'm pretty stoked. Can I put Volkswagen parts on it somewhere? You can, if you wanna slow it down. <laughs> I'm gonna fire this thing up. Don't stand in front of it, please.
killed it. Well, truly, I own the car. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. You just gave that battery compliments. Well, you know what? This car sucks, Jason. It's the biggest piece of crap. You bought another dud. It won't even do a burnout. Cut the video. It's over. It's done. Give up. We gotta go back to the drawing board. I don't know. Guess we need to charge the battery. Anyway, we'll keep you guys up to date on updates. I was really trying to get a burnout for you, but she ain't having it yet. But uh, the doctor will. Uh, just a few things and she'll be she'll be ready yeah we'll catch you guys on the flip side peace did it really die yeah it died